Hello, fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me today for another video. And this one is exciting because I have aphids. And do you know what that means? I've got a ton of blooms getting ready to pop out on these babies. So it's with mixed emotions that I'm dealing with this today. I'm super excited that we're going to have a huge flush in the coming days, but then I have to go around and take care of aphids. And it's absolutely normal if you're a newbie gardener that you have aphids. It means you have something healthy that these bugs want to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a picture. I went ahead and I zoomed in on my current aphid situation so that you know what you're looking for. They are soft bodied, which means they die very easily and they're green in color and I have seen them I think the adults when they get their wings they are darker in color and I don't have any of those on right now I'll see if I can get some pictures in the future and pop it up to uh, my Facebook page as things happen in the garden I'll share them with you and how we deal with them you've got so many different options to take care of aphids you can spray them off with a hose the only reason why I don't do that is because uh, we've got almost an acre and getting a hose to some of the roses is very difficult. I also, I just don't want any water on the leaves. I don't want to take a chance that I spray it uh, too hard and then I pop off a bloom or something. So I just don't do water. You can also go organic. You know that I live on the river and so we have to be very careful about the things that we use because it could seep into the river. So I have to be organic in my gardening. And so I always go to Bonide. That's my go-to products. I'll go ahead and link these down below, but this is neem oil here. And if you look at the picture, it'll show you all of the bugs that it is targeting. And although it doesn't have a picture of aphids, it says in the wording that it will target aphids. And then this one here is my go-to all-time favorite. I keep four of these or so just so I have them when I need them. But this is Rose RX and it just treats every problem that you could have. So go ahead and make sure that you get that. But in this case where I'm only dealing with aphids, I don't want to waste my money and time dealing with these because this is a spray situation, easy, kind of pricey, but this one you're gonna mix with water and then walking around the yard and you know using this on the plants. I just don't wanna do it at this point because I'm not targeting anything else. So what I wanna share with you is how I deal with aphids that I think is relatively inexpensive. So I'm already going around every day and looking at these babies and waiting for them to go and bloom. So it's real easy just for me to grab my cobalt tool. And I want to say that this is, I'll go ahead and link down the exact name of it. It might be a inflator, a cobalt inflator, but I'll go ahead and link it down below. I think I got it on sale for like $30 and it comes out with such force that it blows them right off of the roses and they can't get back on um so and i and i and i've heard that they even they die when because they have that soft body i don't even like thinking about that because i love all god's creatures and i hate thinking about you know killing anything but um this makes me happy just to deal with this i've, I've heard people say that you can just take your fingers and squish them I do not have the heart for that. <laughs> I don't want to be squishing any bugs. So this is a hands-off approach that is very effective. And so I find when I'm dealing with aphids, if you come back every day and you're you know, using the cobalt blower on it, in a matter of days, you're not dealing with that situation anymore. And aphids come in waves. And what I forgot to tell you is why are aphids a problem? With a lot of organic gardening, you just kind of let nature take its course and you bring in other bugs that might feed on your aphids. So it would be ladybugs, and I think they're called lace wigs. Um, but why are aphids a problem? Is that they will suck the fluid from those roses. And so here you've got this bud that's getting ready to pop. And if you have an extreme situation with those aphids, uh, when that bloom finally opens, it's going to be kind of warped and not true to what you're looking for. So that's why you want to get them off of your roses. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And let me show you how I take care of these aphids.
So if you find that you have an aphid situation, it's okay. We all do as gardeners and we all just find different ways to deal with it that works for us. So find out what works for you. You've got so many organic options between a hose, neem, rose rx, bringing in other predatory um, insects like ladybugs or I think it's lacewigs, you can use those. But I like this little beauty and I hope that you'll give it a try and good luck with your gardens this year. And if you end up having an aphid situation, they won't always deform your buds. I've definitely had an aphid here or there and still have beautiful blooms. And I can't wait to share them with you here in the next couple of days. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.